about a year and a half now. It was the summer of 2018. Um, my family and I were traveling in our Heartland RV on a highway in Maine, and um, the frame shifted over the wheels. My husband could see out the mirror that the wheels were sticking out one side and something didn't look right. So we um, pulled over at a rest area and some people were trying to flag us down actually when we stopped and they had seen our RV shift and they told us something is not right. So we looked around and there were cracks in the sidewall, like several cracks all over the side and a big hole in the wall and where it had separated. And the when we went inside, the floors and walls were separating and the, it just looked like the whole frame was bent. We went back and forth with them for about six months. And if initially we filed an insurance claim thinking that our insurance maybe would cover this. And then they inspected it twice actually and said it was frame failure. So apparently insurance does not cover frame failure. So we reached out to Heartland for help and for six months battled with them back and forth. They refused to help. They blamed us and tried to say we hit something, which made no sense because if we did, our insurance would have covered it. And also if it, we hit something, there would be an impact on just one spot instead of cracks all over the entire RV where the frame was falling apart. And they were not sympathetic to us at all. And so we finally just decided we needed to give up. We had considered suing them, but from what I understand, suing an RV manufacturer in Indiana, the odds are really stacked against the consumer. And you could spend up to three years in court or waiting for a trial date and lots of time and money wasted. And we travel with our kids and we didn't want to waste any more of their time while they're still young enough to travel with us and our time fighting against this heartless company. So we decided to just stop fighting. We gave up and where, when our, this happened to the RV in Maine, we had found a campground um, close to where this happened at the rest area. So we brought it into the campground and we couldn't, it was no longer safe to travel with it because it was literally falling apart. And the campground owners were very gracious to us for the whole six months while we tried to work things out with Heartland. They had inspectors coming off and on to look at the RV. And so eventually we just decided we're not, we're done fighting with them. We can't keep wasting all of our time. So we had to pretty much drain our savings account so we could pay off the RV. Then we sent the title to the campground in Maine so they could do whatever they wanted with it, which it turns out they just put it in a campsite at their campground and now another family is living in it. Yes, actually, I have a blog of all of our travels. And when I wrote a blog post about this, I heard from like so many, probably hundreds of people reaching out to me, telling me they've had similar issues and that Heartland refused to help. And even about a month ago, I was um, just researching. I looked for Heartland frame issues online and I came across a Heartland owners forum where people were discussing the same exact make and model RV that we had. And they had the same issue with cracks in their RV. And the, um, a couple of them actually said Heartland helped them and fixed it, which surprised me. So I was like, whoa, why wouldn't they help us? And then others said that Heartland said they'd help them if they would bring the RV to Indiana, which is impossible when it's not safe to drive. So I was just interested when I saw how many other people had the same problem. But when we reached out to Heartland, they acted like they've never heard of anything like this before. And it must be all of our fault. 